And let's start rolling up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pad, so the pinky. And the thumb. And down to the wrist. And up to the knuckles and across. And we're going to do the fingers. Index finger and thumb. Middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. And then the other hand, index. Middle. Ring. And pinky. And why don't we bounce the ball or throw it in the air if you got somebody under you? Three, two, one, put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel and step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Go up to the knuckles and press down on each. Roll across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise the toes and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess. Repeat on the other foot three times in the middle. Up to the knuckles. Roll across. Meet another foot, wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble again. Three, two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess how the feet feel, and shake the tree. Uh, 
three, two, one, center. Twist it the way, swing the arms. And center, and we're gonna shift the weight from one leg to the other, back and forth, coming up on the toes and then back on the heel. Hands are moving up and down the spine. Getting a little bit higher each time. You let weight shifting from one channel to the other. Bend in the knees a little. Hands expanding. And then we're going to take some forward steps. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. And then slap the opposite heel in the front. And then slap it behind you. And then do a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then walk or march or jog. Uh, today we're going to do some isometrics. There is a stationary low squat involved, but you're not going up and down, up and down. If you want to do squats. Whatever you do, including what you're doing. Be safe. I think I'm going to hop. And after class, I've got five. But no, I don't. Um, in yoga, in yoga. So we keep going. In five, four, three, two, one, two. And one, two, and thirty, two breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up, reach for the sky, you're up on your toes if you can. 
And come on back down, bend back if you can. Back to center. Bring one hand to the side and bend in that direction. Go the other way. Interlace the fingers at the top again. Bring them down. Push out at the chest. Come on down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. Go a little higher. Coming down. Shrug. And put your fingertips on your shoulders and rotate the elbows forward. And then backwards. Bend the arms and tap the shoulders. And then give yourself a big bear hug. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And a bear hug with the other arm on top. Exhale and squeeze. We're gonna do one more with your arm on top again. And the last one. Bring one arm behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Extend one arm, fingers up, pull back. And the fingers are down, pulling. Flop the wrists and keep flopping. And then rotate in one direction. And then the other. Other hand, fingers up. Fingers down. Stop the wrists. Rotate. Go the other way. Come on down and rotate the neck. And go the other way. Nod. And go here to shoulder.
Up to center, tuck in the chin, look in one direction, drop the chin to the collarbone. And then look up. Back to center, still tuck, look the other way, drop the chin. And look up. Back to center, tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. And then let's grab a stick. I'm going to put it inside the sole of one foot. The other foot comes out to the side, bend that knee, and slide down to stretch the inner thigh. Go the other way. Come on up, bring one stick, uh, one foot forward. Put the uh, stick behind it. Slide down. Lift the sole of the foot and wiggle it if you can. Press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then bring the other leg forward, put the stick behind it, lie down, wiggle the foot. Press the sole of that foot against the stick. Another participant. All right, we're going to do the um, Tony Bar routine. We're going to bring the stick behind our back, parallel to the spine, one hand on top, one on the bottom, and move it up and down. Not the bottom of the stick, but below, about waist high. And then switch the position of the hands. And repeat. And then bring the stick up overhead and go side to side. And then bring it to the shoulders, palms facing in, do 10 bicep curls. Leave it below the waist, reverse the grip, hinge at the waist, bend the knee slightly, bring the stick down and bring it back up. Back down and up 10 times. You want to feel this in the hamstrings and glutes. Three. And then come on up. And go down, back down, knees bent, bring the elbows past the rib cage 10 times. And 
and then stand up straight. Stick is at the shoulders. We're going to lift it up overhead. Then we're going to bring it below the waist again. And we're going to lift the elbows up to shoulder height. Keep it at the shoulders and push out. And then bring it behind the back with the palms facing away and lift it behind you 10 times. Reverse the position of the hands again, the grip, and do another 10. And then put the stick in the crook of the elbows and twist at the waist. And bring the stick around front. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two at the top, step back. And we're doing isometrics. So let's come up on our toes and just hold for 17. Three, two, one, and then back on our heels for 17. Three, two, one, and that's that. You put the stick down. What you should do, though, is grab a strap or a belt or a towel or a cloth or something, uh, or have it nearby for some exercises we're going to do later. But we're going to start, as usual, with our neck press. Make two fists. Put your tongue on the roof of the mouth. Fists go under the jaw and push your head into the fists. Three, two, one, and release. All right, we're going to do a low squat. You might want to be next to a chair or a counter or something you can hold on to. The idea is to go as low as feels um, comfortable and safe for you and hold. If it's, this, if it's only this far, that's fine. I'm going down a little lower. And we're going to hold for 20. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on up. Now you can sit in the chair to do the leg extension curl. You're gonna cross one ankle over the other and you're gonna resist with your top foot as you bring your bottom foot up. Or you can do it on your back, on the floor. Either way, the Bottom foot is going to win, but the top foot is going to give it a struggle as we come up. And now it's the top foot's turn to win as we go back down. Ah. 
reverse the feet and repeat. And back there. Yeah, and down. All right, let's turn around. And we're going to do a lunge, I uh, mean, not a lunge, a uh, plank uh, on our knees. So we've got our forearms on the floor ahead of us. Our back is nice and straight from the head to the hips, but we're on our knees and we're holding. Another 15. Core is engaged. And then go on your side. And again, you can do this from your knees or if you feel up to it, you can do it uh, with one foot on top of the other. We're gonna do it for 15 on one side. And down and then 15 on the other. Again, you could be on your knees or one foot on top of the other. Try to have a straight body straight down. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's it. We get up and we have that band or belt or strap or cloth or whatever you got. I got a dish towel. And we're going to have uh, palms facing in below the waist. They're together. And we're going to go side to side, pulling hard in either direction as we go up in front of the body to just above the top of the head. And then back down. And then leave the left hand in place, go over to the left hip, reverse the grip with the right hand and pull up towards the right shoulder. Resisting with the left hand and arm. And then pull down back towards the left hip, resisting with the right hand. Reverse the grips and go over to the right hip, pull up towards the left shoulder. And back down. All right, you can put the strap or belt down. I'm gonna go into prayer position and push in. And then shake it out a little bit and then do make those biceps pop like Charles Atlas. Three, two, one, and finally. Put one palm on top of the other, grab your fingers and pull apart. And then reverse the grip and do it again. Three, 
and release and shake it out. So for breathing, we're doing Leonard Orr's natural high. It's um, four rapid breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then one long deep inhale and one slow exhale. And then we're gonna repeat that three more times, total of 20 breaths. If you feel lightheaded at all, sit down. Um, and here we go. And then rub the hands together. Cultivate chi. Hold that chi ball. Adventure. And center. Two breaths. And let's open our hearts. Pause on this inhale, exhale, send it out. and center with two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And gather from below. And uh, <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Hey, Mira, thank you. Have a wonderful sunny day. I'm going to do five Tibetans here. And we're going to get the timer. Today's insight is to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That is all, said Oscar Wilde. All right, putting on the sound, turning up the volume, moving to the floor camera, and starting 10 seconds to cat position.
Kodol Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right in. No, the middle? Yeah. 
one. These two checks. Use the chest. All right, see you all tomorrow.